This been yells out of the shed. I'm stuck. I can't get out of here. They right there. I said, I don't know what you're going to do. Hey, y'all. What's up? Welcome back. So, I'm out and about doing some stuff. And I decided I would grab me a little something to eat. So, y'all can join me for my meal. I got these... Um, Sweet and spicy. Tell me bites. 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 Sweet and spicy wings from good old Papa's. Haven't had these in a while. I'm trying to figure out where they put the fries at because I ordered my, ordered my daughter something as well. So I got my fries here. Let me get set up. I'm just going to put them in here. Put my fries in here with my chicken. Oh, Lord. Bless this food. I'm about to receive in Jesus' name, I pray. So I have some ranch. I'm going to... Turn it this way so y'all can see it. I got my drink on deck because I know it's gonna be hot. I tried their garlic wings. I did not like them at all. So I'm back to these sweet and spicy. Oh, that for that fry tastes a little bit burnt. Okay. So here's the first wing. Looks good. It barely have any sauce on it though, y'all. Like it's barely any sauce on there. I mean, hot to touch because they just pulled these up. She was like, it's gonna be three minutes. I was like, good. Mm. Crispy. Let me know if y'all tried these before. Mm. I should have water. I don't use ketchup a lot. I do use my ranch. Not gonna be a long video. So, let me get into what happened to me yesterday. Okay, I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but the day after 4th of July, July 5th, um, I waited all day because it was so hot. I said, well, let me wait and then go out to um, tend to the chickens. I'm trying to adjust the lighting, I'm sorry. And, okay, so I waited to the sun, kinda went down a little bit. La, 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 go out. Mind you, I was in and out of my shed all the day before feeding the animals, you know, getting their feed and giving it to them. But, and this, this nest had to have been there that same day. Because it was a big nest. Ain't no way they did that overnight. I opened the door to the shed. The minute I opened, the, the minute I stepped onto the shed deck to open the door to the shed, I immediately felt this sensation of pain. Oh my goodness. In on the back of this hand. Immediately I grabbed that hand and started hitting my hand because I didn't know what was biting me. I, in my hand, I was thinking it was a spider. You know what I'm saying? And 
because there were spider webs everywhere. So I was thinking the spider was not thinking a wasp, you guys. And I'm patting my hands. And the next thing I know, I'm being bit up on the back of this hand. So at that point, I, I did see a, a glimmer of what bit me. And I said, oh my God, <clears throat> it all happened so fast. I took off running. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hitting my hand, hitting my body. Cause I didn't know if they were on me or what. I just knew I was in severe, severe pain. And right now, well, let me wait till I <laughs> tell you how it is right now. So I ran into the house. My husband was not there. He was at his truck. I'm supposed to be eating. I'm sorry. This is an eating video. So I ran into the house to the kitchen sink, cut on the cold water. I was, oh my, I was in so much pain. I could barely talk. I managed to yell out for my daughter to come. She came and, and she looked up what to do what which i have a bee kit in my long-term pantry i have you know insect bite kits and all that stuff in my pantry but in that moment you ain't thinking about that kit you ain't thinking about the stuff you done stocked up to to help you in this situation because you you in pain and it wasn't just one hand it was both hands and y'all i just she looked it up so um she got some ice packs ready for me to put on my hand i got the baking powder out hold on mm. i got the baking powder out or soda whatever Put some in a bowl i made some paste because that's what it said online i don't like using siri but i used her yes i mean yeah i used her on, on the fifth i was like siri call my husband <laughs> that's not i couldn't get it out siri call my husband so siri calling husband and he said, what's wrong? I was like, I have been attacked. Mm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm hungry. I said, I have been attacked. Told him what happened. he was telling me an old school remedy to use which the bacon soda kind of seemed like an old school remedy too um he was saying you know when he get home because he smells cigarettes he's like i take some of my tobacco and make a paste out of it and put it on your hand that's gonna help but i had already done the bacon powder by the time he got home i was not waiting I'm laying in the bed, both hands out like this right here. I'm moaning and groaning and it was horrible. I've never been bitten by an insect like that. I hope I never am again because the sensation was like, if you touch my arm, if it's like it triggered the venom in my, cause it, the thing said on Google, you know, get the ice packs on, Timmons on, Timmons off, do the, the paste, try not to move your hands as much, and listen, because you don't want the venom, whatever, to spread or move out on now. I'm just like, this is ridiculous. So I just laid in the bed, whining like a baby. And then my husband came home, but he's out working on his truck. He says, come on and go with me. 
I said, go where? I ain't going nowhere. He said, come on and go with me so I can see where it is. Uh-huh. I said, if this had happened to you, I wouldn't be telling you to get out of the bed. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to guilt trip him. I did not want to go back out that door. I was like, the door to the, the shed is open, so you're going to have to close it. He was like, so you didn't get to feed the animals or nothing? I said, no. No. I said, I don't know where they are. He was like, four eyes is better than two. So I went out there with him. <clears throat> he was looking above his head. And when he stepped into the shed, he was looking up in the shed. He didn't see anything. So he was getting the feet together. And right before he came out, I picked up one of my flower pots that was down on the ground by the deck of the, the shed. And when I picked up that flower pot, y'all, it whizzed by my peripheral. I threw the flower pot in there and I ran back. Mm-mm, 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 I'm traumatized. And when I stepped back, I saw the nest. And it was right as you go up onto the, the deck of the shed, but underneath the railing dangling was this big nest. I don't know how I didn't see that. I said, I found it. I said, it's, it's underneath the railing of this um, shed. <laughs> My husband yells out of the shed. I'm stuck. I can't get out of here. They right there. I said, I don't know what you're going to do. Because you wanted to come out here. <laughs> this boy, I quit. It's <laughs> like, I quit. I don't care if the chickens eat. I don't care if the rabbits eat. I'm not fooling with these wasps. I'm a hurting. My, my hand is stinging. They're on fire. They were swelling up. And they kind of find out. I'm thinking I only have one sting on the back of both hands. No, I have multiple stings. And on my wrist. Where my watch is. So I got my watch loose but pushed up. So it wouldn't be right on where. And my hands are itching so bad. So, I got some Benadryl at home, and I, I didn't take it last night, but I'm, when I get home, I'm going to take it. So, I don't like to take stuff like that, because stuff like that make me sleepy. So, he comes out of the shed. He tiptoes out of the shed, mind you, with the feet in his hand. He eases the door closed, and then he sees it once he steps away from the, the shed. And he was like, we got some more wasp spray. I was like, um, we used it all when we had the wasp's nest over where the rabbits are. Mm -mm. So, needless to say, I had to come out today. My husband had went back on the road. <clears throat> like two in the morning. I had to come to Walmart and get this spray. So since the Popeye sit right across the street, I said, well, let me do a moot bong and put it up for um, Sunday because I'm only going to do the moot bongs on Sundays. It's not going to be an everyday thing. So I've got some of this. I thought this was on the, the shelf. It said almost $8. Um, but when I rung it up, and I mean I rung it up, it showed four dollars. I was like, man, I could have got a few of those. Mm. I got me this meal. The six piece. I got my daughter a meal. The chicken sandwich. Which I haven't had that in a while either. But that was $21. So, no, I don't eat out like this. I am glad though, however, that I did not have my my youngest grandchild, Alyssa, 
um, with me. Because she was supposed to be with me, but she's not. So I'm glad I didn't have to care for her because I don't know how I would have did it. Alyssa is Mason and Dallas's sister. They just have different moms. And by my son, my oldest son, not my son in college, okay? And then I'm picking up two of my grandkids by my daughter, excuse me, on, at the end of the month. Normally we sit around the house or we go to the mall, it's boring. So I found something for us to do. My used to be only granddaughter by my daughter until Alyssa came along. She don't wanna come. I think it's because we have a dog now and she's definitely afraid. So I respect that. Where we at? I forgot how long it take for me to eat. Y'all eat so slow. <clears throat> we all, everybody in my family, we could start eating at the same time. I will be the last one. It's not because I'm talking. Well, it might be right now, but I'm not talking when I'm at home. I'm just eating. I'm going to go home. Feed Gracie her dinner. Take my medicine and get in the bed. <clears throat> I just appreciate you watching if you did. And if you did, thumbs it up. Share it out. As Big Belly Bob would say. Um, turn on your notifications, y'all. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love for you to be a part of the channel. It's not just going to be a Mook Long channel because I'm only going to do that once or twice a week. The remainder of the videos will most likely be me and Gracie or Gracie by herself because they're just easier to edit. So that being said, that being said, y'all take care. Peace, love, and light. I cannot rub this on the back of my head. Thanks for being here on the channel. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for showing up and not showing out. So <laughs> I'll talk to you. Bye. Tell me bites, 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 t